Salamon, I'm going to go praise on the Lord to your help us in my shadow, in my crack of dash. I'm double honest that I'll just repent for the great Lord's own Thomas too. And please listen to the citations to the whole world. And, um, yeah, man, just luck here for not, um, going out to the house and buy ways as much as I'm supposed to. But yeah, man, I, I got to show myself breath again. We could say an infection has come back. <clears throat> but yeah, I wanted to um, basically talk about <laughs> Bishop Nathaniel. <clears throat> and basically, um, yeah, man. These basically, <laughs> a warlock like the Apostle Gabba said, is out here doing um, witchcraft and sorcery, man. Is it? Is a part of it? <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised if if it's a part of the um, the Freemasons, man. Because <clears throat> literally, the very the very thing he's doing in his um picture. It's it's literally, it's literally a, a hand gesture, significant to witchcraft and, and magic. But yeah, l- let me read it here. It says the steeple or pyramid hands, the fingertips on one hand pressed lightly against those of the other hand to form a church steeple or pyramid. And it says you can use this gesture to signal authority when you are speaking or when you are listening to demonstrate understanding and attention. And yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's time to understand that this dude is a warlock. <clears throat> and then on top of that, um, when I was watching the Apostle Bar's um, video concerning Bishop Nathaniel, <clears throat> you were talking about him wearing black and he went into... A, a, a little story concerning the colour black. And, yeah, I literally found this, um, this basically blog. So, like, it says, colour magic in witchcraft. <coughs> <coughs> it says, colour magic, a witch's guide to colour meanings, energies, and how to use them. And it says, um, there are many forms of witchcraft in the world. On a lot of correspondence charts, you've seen colours, herbs and crystals with certain meanings. But how you actually use colour magic with witchcraft can vary from witch to witch. (coughs) Or in Bishop Nathaniel's um, term, from warlock to warlock. And it says in this post, we are going to talk about what color magic is, how to use it in your life, and even go over a hand, hand leave rainbow visualization for when you don't have every tool at your disposal. <laughs> but I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read all of it. I'm I'm just bringing this out for education sake. But yeah, um, yeah, what what does color influence? Color influences everything about the world around us. What we choose to wear, what we choose to eat, and how we decorate. Color magic can have a subconscious and conscious effect if we get intentional about it. <coughs> and evidently, um, Bishop Nathaniel is show, showing us who he is, man. He's, he's showing us his, his true colors. <laughs> <clears throat> and it says color theory, especially in marketing. Shows us that using certain colors can affect moods, thoughts, and impressions, and feelings. And that's another reason why I helped the big bro and go buy a diamond man for another garment man. <laughs> <laughs> like the one, the, the, the recent one that I bought was, um, it's, it's mostly black and literally. You'll 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 find out what that actually means, and even then, um, when ISUPK came to my city, I wanted to um 
deal with craziness and calmness when the Muslims were basically doing their peaceful protests. I find I find it suspicious how you would never ever see them on a normal day. You won't see them in winter. You won't see them in in summer. But as soon as there's a big event, <coughs> as soon as there's a big event, they're there. But yeah, carrying on. It says, um, so like it says, using certain colors can affect moods, thoughts, and impressions and feelings. Each color on the spectrum has a certain vibrational frequency. More use some color magic in your witchcraft, you can invoke and attract whatever vibration you need for your spell work. And yeah, man, absolutely crazy. And um, I might not have to read all of this. Yeah, I, I don't need to read that. <clears throat> so like it says, where can we use colour magic? It says candles. It says what candles you use can have an effect on your magic. Well, what candles can be used for any colour? Because on the light spectrum, it contains every colour. You may find that using a specific colour allows you, it allows you also conscious to call on that specific vibration or energy. But... Basically, getting in touch with the spirits on the left hand side. Basically, this is clothing and accessories. <clears throat> and it says, um, oh yeah, I forgot, I forgot to make the correlation with what I was saying with um, ISUPK. But um, yeah, the wear all black. And at one point, I was wearing all black. And literally, people started thinking I was associated with them. <coughs> Hence why I wanted a new garment. Then. But I'm carried on. It says, what you choose to wear and adorn yourself with can have a subconscious magical effect on how you feel about yourself and how others perceive you. Colour magic in this way goes hand in hand with glamour magic, the art of changing perception and appearance. And that's why... The elders, the apostles, and the brothers on down be saying, stop with the makeup, man. You out here doing magic. Out here doing casting spells and enchantments. <clears throat> and the scriptures say, thou shalt not suffer which to live. And it says, makeup, again, what you adorn yourself with can have an effect in your perception of the self. <clears throat> A lot of these women are witches, man. Uh, I don't really need to go into home the decor. Yeah, I can read this. Like, it says, while light normally goes with home decor, I bring it up because there are very smart bulbs and items that you can use that specialize in full spectrum light, bathing, not tanning, having a way to shift lighting for ritual, spell casting, or just meditation. Time is a great way to bring in various vibes. Plus, if you are in a place that doesn't allow candles, this is a great secondary way to utilise that kind of magic. And we know there's been camps out there. And when I say camps, I mean the ones who don't follow after the 100% doctrine or they don't teach the likewise doctrine of, um, <clears throat> of the elders and apostles and the brothers and now. They like to use um these different colours. I can't I can't remember which camp it was, maybe it was Sakari. They had um the red up in the thing in in the what's it called in the thumbnail. <coughs> <coughs> and then they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. But carrying on. Yeah, crystals. It says, while crystals have their own meanings and structures, they have vibrational energy. Oftentimes, those meanings come from the colour of colours that the crystal has. 
And that's another reason why you see these witches just, and then they're deep into the crystals, man. Like, you can use them for righteousness and you can also use them for wickedness. Which a lot of these women are using them for, for wickedness. To talk to um familiar spirits. <clears throat> like, sordid, man. <clears throat> uh, and, and sigils. It says writing sigils on different colours of paper or ink can bring a layer of colour magic to the spell. And if you didn't know, they use that in the music industry. <coughs> they create sigils of um, rituals and they basically trap it in um, a sigil and they put that sigil on the, what's it called, the, the instrumental or in the song. So whoever listens to it, they're basically taking part in said ritual. <coughs> And it says bath rituals. It says food dye and other colours can bring an additional layer of magic to your bath ritual. And that's another thing. Um, and bath bombs. Everyone will go crazy for bath bombs. When I say everyone, I mean the people of the world. And they'll possibly be taking um, part in a ritual, man. And they, and they don't even know. <coughs> and I'm not going to read this because... Literally, we we know how witches are these days. They like to assume everything um consists with oh the 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 they're doing good things. They're using their left hand side to do good things, and that's what all this is. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm uh finished reading this um. It says using colour magic is pretty easy practice. You can either imagine yourself bathed in that coloured light that you want. You can dress in the colours of the vibes that you need. You can also just infuse that colour or energy into any spell you want to perform. How you use colour magic can vary from witch to witch. And a lot of correspondence charts, you've seen herbs and crystals with certain means. Colours are no different. And are even basing various studies on the colour theory and psychological behaviour. And yeah, it's true with the psychological behaviour. Because I experienced it myself. And <clears throat> when, I, when I was wearing that black garment, or should I say the black and gold garment, but it's, it's, it's mostly black. <clears throat> People started to perceive me negatively. <clears throat> but yeah, man. I'm glad that the Lord... Um, I want me off. And also, um, I wanted to shout out the brother Yarmir Shamar <clears throat> for the reason of um, letting me know about my profile picture on YouTube. I basically uh, was thrown at the bathroom at home. Not not on purpose, but you know, you you, you know how that looks. We looking like a like to say I'm I'm, I'm sort of. Wizard, <laughs> you know, witchcraft and stuff. <clears throat> but I'm glad, man. To answer that, brother, for letting me know. I changed it immediately, man. Call or you help us, you share. But yeah, man. Let me let me just get this one scripture. <coughs> Exodus 22 and 18. It says, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. And even, <clears throat> even rebelling against the everlasting God, you have worship, I'm sure. That's even considered to be witchcraft. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, first Samuel fifteen and twenty three. This is for rebellion it is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as the iniquity iniquity and idolatry because thou has rejected the word of the Lord Yahweh Shai, he have also rejected thee from being king. 
And yeah, we know this is talking about Saul. And like I mentioned, he was dolving into witchcraft. And seeing um <clears throat> those witches that um that deal with familiar spirits. <clears throat> he he went to he went to one. And yeah man, he had to pay for his actions. Which he did. The Lord basically dethroned him and put David over him. <clears throat> but then again, the Lord had mercy. Because when Saul came back as poor, yeah, man, the Lord showed mercy, man. And it was very pitiful upon <clears throat> and poor, especially for the things he's done. And that just shows you um, the great mercy of your whole and your share. And if you are dove, dove into witchcraft, repent. Well, if you're Israelite anyway. <clears throat> but let me get it. Um, what was it called? Um, oh, great. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yeah, here we go. Let me read Psalms 103 and 11. It says, For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. So, yeah, man, fear you, how much, how much, And um, I hope this was edifying. I'm going to give a praise on the glory to you, how much, 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 how